the legendary Gundas of Turkey, 7-3, to claim his place in the semi-final. Whilst Arakania beat El Kutfi of Egypt, 3-2. The referee for this match is Javier Escalante of Sweden. And we're off. Four-minute match. Both fighters taking it slowly to get engaged. Yarago was second in uh, Paris. Again in the final. Referee separates the fighters. There's some views of uh, the four-minute match in the final. That extra minute being unnecessary, Dominic. We've spoken about this before the European Championships. And what are, what are your views? Do you think it's still necessary, or because there doesn't seem to be sometimes a great deal of action in that first minute, does it? Okay, now. Today was different than the Europeans. Uh, and the Europeans they haven't done anything in the first minute, and now we see they start from the beginning. Yes. So, uh, Pass punch there again. They used to time now. From Ar Arcana. No score. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Arcania for Georgia in blue. And he was third in uh, three years ago in Hungary, in the Europeans. So you uh, also have experience. Oh. Arada tries a high kick, holding on. Arakania oh. the corner. Goes for a, you know, watchy getty, but it didn't come off, but he threw in a zuki or a punch afterwards, which did score. So he now takes the lead, one point to zero. Waited for Araga to move in and then immediately did the counter punch. So just reminding everybody that it's only skin touch. It mustn't make any heavy impact or it will receive a penalty or a warning. A lot of boo-boo will come up from Arakania. But uh, the national coach of Japan has requiring a video review, believing that Araga could have scored. The review team have rejected that, but the red card being shown. There are two cameras on the side of the tatami, you can just see in the bottom of the screen. Each of those is uh, providing a, a feedback for the review panel to have a look. So it's see that uh, Araga is picking up a category two warning copy. But those review panel are looking at the filmage of the last few seconds of the match. And they can wind it back and forward and very quickly come to a decision on whether it was a valid score or not. And we see the flags going out this time by two of the judges for Araga. going to take his first point, a Yuko. Has to get six things correct for a score to be given. Kunan, Yoko Geri from Arcania, but it's not good enough to score. So getting a point is very, very difficult. Actually, giving a penalty or warning away is quite easy. So fighters have to be very careful. Was it too strong? Was it too strong? One of the judges is believing that it should have scored, or one of the other judges thinks that it's a contact. 
So that means that Georgia cannot use that card again in this match. Arag has gone in with a fast Jordan Zuki, but Arakania has received two flags. So he's got a uh, his score now. Three one. So it's now three points to one in the last 45 seconds. Arag trying to come back in, using his head. Tried to score last year, but I sweep, but it didn't come off. Okay, pulling each other in the centre of the tatami. We have two flags. A game for Arakadia. Extending his lead by three points. He now has four points to one. Araga should play on his distance. He has longer arms, but he doesn't use the distance. He's too much in the infight. Oh, almost pulled off. A takedown and a three-point score, but not quite good enough balance. Didn't meet the criteria they fought. Okay, now we are only a couple of seconds left. And Kanye is now going to pick up a Hans Hockey warning, so he cannot do that again. But it's over. He's done enough. Four points to one win. Takes the gold medal and the world title for the male minus 84 kilograms.